Hey guys, welcome to k -Shake. Today we're going to be unboxing Hatchimals and Splashlings. So let's get on with it. Let's go. So the Hatchlings, you get one Hatchling in one bag. And it says that you're supposed to rub the heart for color change. Should be easy to open. Then, oh, it's so cute. It's a little eggy. Then we have the instructions, but I think I know how to open it. You're supposed to rub the egg until it is warm enough. It's very cold right now. And you can see that you can't, I, I don't think, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a slight line. You can see where they're then hatch out. And you're going to just like warm it up. And my hands are really warm right now. So we're just gonna wait. It's gonna be super fun. And one thing about Hatchimolts is you don't know what you're going to get. So it's super fun and exciting. So mine has not turned pink yet. I'm starting to get nervous. This is just watching and waiting. So I think I'm going to open up the other one at the same time. Because this is um, taking some time. So... One up. Take this one out. Then this one's actually cold too. This one's getting a lot warmer now. And it's not really changing colors yet. I think it's supposed to get weaker. It's really funny because it's like, I'm not sure how long this is supposed to take. <sighs> oh, look, 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 there's a teeny, tiny bit of pink right there. Yay. So if you guys were to open one of these, um, I would probably recommend, like, right now I just really want it to turn pink. So, and you can you can definitely see the difference. You see, that one's a little bit lighter, that one's darker. I would just recommend, like, really heating them up, like, an eggshell warm up. And then, like, once it gets warm enough, then, my friend, you can crack it. <gasps> it's turning pink, it's turning pink, it's turning pink. And you're just really wanting to almost squish it. <gasps> it's pink, it's pink, it's pink, it's turning pink. It's a lot pinker in real life than it is um, on the camera. But you, if you can see it, there's like a little thing that goes up that's pink and across like that. It's pink. I'm really getting scared because I'm almost out of time. <laughs> it's purple still, but it's turning pink. So, then I have some help. I have a professional do this while we open our Splashling. And I think that you're supposed to get one mermaid and one uh, Splashling. I really want the Icicle Island because there's a narwhal and I love unicorns. Then I have to use the scissors on this one. The skizzers. 
I can. Mm. It smells like rubber. <gasps> no way. I literally got the one on the package. And I got the other one on the package. It's just, this one's slightly different. This one's red. And then this one is pink. Oh, they're so cute. And the hair on this one is actually pretty squishy. So I'm gonna look which one I got. And I think, so apparently you do not get a mermaid. Um, trying to find, so sorry. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's super exclusive because I'm not finding these ones on here. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right, so I found this one. found a pink one. It's right there. You can see that. Let me get that in focus. And it is a common. Maybe that's why they have it on the cover. And then this jewel thingy. Um, blue. Ooh, it's rare. The, um, the red... I want to say that this is like an Indian egg. Oh, it's treasure Tobia, so it's like a treasure. Because it's like the detail is super good on this right now. And I really like this because it's like rubbery. But here's a tip when you open it, don't smell it when you open it. It smells like rubber. Um, I think that we're going to take a break because this... Um, we're gonna need to, our hatch and molt eggs is, we're having some problems, so we'll be back. Hey guys, we're back and we finally got the eggs. I will say it takes a little while to actually get them hatched. And at one point, one point I got a little bit like scared, like that it wasn't gonna hatch. So that's a piece of the egg. And I'll tell you that this is kind of like, this is actually really realistic comparing to the Hatchimolts because it has the same texture on the inside, like scales. See that? And I think that I have an exclusive right now. Where did I put? I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, it's still in there. Gonna have, gonna have an expert get that out. <gasps> Look how cute he is! Uh, I'm not sure if this is a boy or girl, but there's sparkles and it's cute. So this is what it, mine looks like. It looks like a cat or like a puppy dog. And then the other one is, um, it took a while and it, uh, studies have shown if you force it hard enough, um, you can, um, you know, get it when it's purple. And I think, oh, please don't be a devil. It's, it's the exact same head. No. Uh-oh. Are you a double? Are you a double? I can't tell yet. It could be different wings. <sighs> it's a double. It's better. We're twins. <sighs> I still got them. Um, but they're super cute. And overall, um, I feel like this was a pretty good one. I got four characters out of it, and it took a little bit more time than expected, but that is totally okay because these are actually really good quality toys. But the one thing about the Hatchimal eggs is 
we can't seem to find a collector's uh, list of the hat coins. Yeah, so I guess that we could like look them up and we will see if they're rare or exclusive, but of course we um, we don't really have to look in different sections because you've got the same ones. And I'm, they literally, they're the exact same code number. Exact same code number. And I, from my experience, because um, my friend um, actually likes these a lot, and she got them for her birthday, um, and she opened one of them, and she got exclusives. And I feel like for the Hatchimolts, every single one of them is really exclusive because they're not like, because you know, Shopkins has a, um, like a really good plastic, but these don't, these aren't like the rubbery weird kind they smell like plastic and they're plastic they're not rubber their wings i would not recommend like trying to pull the rings off but their wings are actually pretty strong and they're super glittery and i have not found that they come off so i like if i rub their rings there's nothing on there i mean get a little but that's like, cause I rubbed super hard. But overall I got a lot of really fun, cool things. And I got these four little toys and the twins. And this was really, really fun opening them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.